CAR T-cell therapy is a type of immunotherapy that uses your body's own T-cells to help your immune system find and destroy myeloma cells. T-cells are immune cells that fight off infections and cancer. Myeloma cells, however, can hide from T-cells. When your T-cells can't find the myeloma cells, the myeloma cells can grow and divide. CAR T-cell therapy helps your T-cells find and fight myeloma cells through the addition of a chimeric antigen receptor. The combination of chimeric antigen receptors and T-cells is where this form of therapy, CAR-T, gets its name. A chimeric antigen receptor is a molecule that binds to specific proteins on the surface of a target cell, in the case of myeloma therapy, a myeloma cell. This allows the CAR-T cell to find and destroy myeloma cells even when they are hiding. CAR-T cells are engineered from your own T cells. It's a process that requires many steps. The first step involves collecting T cells from your blood and sending them to a lab. In this lab, scientists genetically modify your T cells, adding chimeric antigen receptor to produce CAR T cells with supercharged myeloma fighting abilities. The CAR T cells are then multiplied until there are enough available to use for your treatment. The whole process of making CAR T cells typically takes about four to six weeks. Once they're ready, the CAR T cells are sent back to a specialized medical center so they can be given to you. But before the CAR T cells can be put into your body, you'll need chemotherapy to reduce the number of other immune cells in your body. This will ensure that your immune system doesn't attack the new myeloma-fighting CAR T cells. The CAR T cells are then put into your body through an infusion where they can begin their work finding and destroying myeloma cells. Abecma and Carvicti are two CAR T cell therapies approved for patients with multiple myeloma who have already received four or more lines of therapy. In clinical studies, most patients have been shown to respond to CAR T cell therapy, even patients who have relapsed or are refractory after many prior therapies. Many patients achieve remission with CAR T therapy. Additional studies are currently looking at whether Abecma and Carvicti could be more beneficial if given earlier, including to patients whose myeloma relapses after or does not respond to their first treatment. Some serious and potentially life-threatening side effects have been observed with CAR T cell therapies. Because of the potential for these side effects, CAR T cell therapy can only be given in specialized medical centers. If you undergo CAR T cell therapy, you will need to be monitored closely for several weeks after receiving treatment. One potential side effect of CAR T cell therapy is cytokine release syndrome, or CRS. This reaction can occur when the modified T cells quickly release a large amount of cytokines, which are specialized proteins that control inflammation into the blood, causing your immune system to overreact. CRS can cause fever, nausea, headache, rash, a fast heartbeat, low blood pressure, and trouble breathing. Another possible side effect is neurotoxicity, including a condition known as Immune Effector Cell Associated Neurotoxicity Syndrome, or ICANS. ICANS is believed to occur when the immune cells release cytokines that cause inflammation, this time within the central nervous system. This can lead to headaches, confusion, altered levels of consciousness, and in rare cases, coma. Let your healthcare team know right away if you notice any side effects after CAR T cell therapy. Your healthcare team will monitor you closely for signs of CRS or neurotoxicity after administering treatment and will administer additional therapies to manage any side effects if they occur. CAR T cell therapy is an exciting new option for multiple myeloma treatment. If you're interested in learning more about CAR T cell therapy, talk with your healthcare team to see if this type of immunotherapy is right for you. The MMRF's Patient Navigation Center is a space for multiple myeloma patients and caregivers to connect with patient navigators for support. Whenever you have a question, our patient navigators are here to help. Visit our website or give us a call Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time 
at 1-888-841-6673.